What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to run you through my leg workout that I've done during the week. You guys have been giving me a lot of feedback on videos, I've been getting a lot of good reactions on my Instagram and I've been taking your advice and I'm going to put one up on YouTube today. I'm going to run you through the exercises, the teaching points, the training methods that I use. So if you want to jot it down then do so because I want you to take some knowledge away from this. Moving into the workout, what I like to start off with is five minutes of cardio before I do my session regardless if it's any other muscle group or its legs, I always do five minutes on my warm up. You want to do it either on a treadmill, cycle machine, actually, anything that you want to, it's totally up to you, um, whatever you like. I prefer to use a treadmill, that's my personal preference. You want to get your heart rate up to 100 to 110 beats per minute. You want to make sure you're warm. You don't want to go into the gym training when you're cold. You definitely want to get injuries. And I don't know how some of you guys haven't already, because see, a lot of people go straight into the gym, they throw weights around don't warm up and they don't even cool down. After I've done my warm up, I go straight into doing my stretches. You want to do anywhere between six to eight seconds um, at the beginning of the sessions. But because I'm not very flexible, I do anywhere between 15 to a minute. So you can do as long as you'd like to, just nothing less than about six seconds. Then I go straight into doing my foam rolling. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know foam rolling is essential for me. I do it once every day, and I'm trying to do it twice a day. It increases blood flow, um, in lymphatic circulation, gets rid of adhesions, and um, helps to reduce um, scar tissue in the muscles. And then moving on to the working sets on my exercises. For exercise one, I'm doing a box squat. Four sets for 12 reps. The reason for the box squat is it allows for a dead stop, which applies a great amount of tension on the quads, but also helps to engage the glutes and hamstrings during a concentric part of the exercise, which is on the way up. And it is important for glute activation because my glute activation is very poor. It's not good at all. You see this through other exercises during this workout. And on the way up, like I said, it helps to engage a lot more of your glutes. And I'm not even wearing a belt, so it helps to engage my core and my erector spinae, which are in the bottom of my lower back. So definitely try this exercise out. I think it's going to help you in the long run. Start on lightweight and then work your way up. Going on to exercise two, barbell hip thrust. I did four sets of 10 reps. My form will be getting better. I haven't done this exercise in a while and my glutes are very weak. It's imperative that you train your glutes during your leg workouts. I've noticed that as I've trained my glutes uh, a lot more recently, my squats have gone up, my form has got better because where my glutes, I have an imbalance, especially my left one is weaker than my right. When I do squats, a lot of my weight distributes onto my right hand side and it throws me off. So I definitely need to work on that. By strengthening my glutes, that will happen. And moving on to exercise three, overhead barbell lunges. I did three sets for 10 reps. This exercise works on the entire body, helping to strengthen our anterior and posterior chain, engaging our core to maintain position throughout the movement, which helps for our overall balance um, and improves our proprioception in our ankles to be aware of like, the body's positioning because my um, balance and stuff used to be very good from football, but now I haven't done it for a couple of years. It hasn't been the best, so I still need to work on that and do exercises such as the barbell, um, overhead lunge, it definitely works um, on helping that. Uh, straight into exercise four, the leg press, I did descending sets, which is where you start on a heavier weight for low reps, drop the weight, do lighter weight for more reps. So I did um, one set for 10 reps, second set for 20 reps, third set for 30. I tried to do a fourth set for 40, but it didn't work. I managed to get 15 reps. Uh, this method is used to reach complete muscle fatigue. It allows you to go past the point of failure by reducing the weight for more reps. You have supplied the muscle with a lot more blood, which because um, it requires more oxygen, and you have a crazy pump. And um, trust me, your doms the next day will be crazy. You never felt it like this before. Moving on to exercise five, we have the lying hamstring curls, descending sets. Again, like the leg press, I did 10 reps, 20 reps, 30 reps. Tried to go for 40, couldn't do it. I was that dead. Um, but this exercise is great for isolating the hamstrings as it doesn't allow other muscles um, to compensate for the weight being lifted. It's only through the back of the heels which activates the hamstrings if you're focusing on that mind to muscle connection, which I do advise that you guys do. Don't just smash the weight around, lift it, do the reps really quickly thinking that you're gonna get the results from that because you won't, trust me. So I'm under tension really focusing on the movement. Final exercise, exercise six, adductor machine, doing three sets of 10 reps. Our adductor muscles allow um, us to bring our legs in together to the midline of the body, provides our pelvis with a lot of stability. And by strengthening these muscles, um, as there are five of them, we have adductor magnus, adductor longus, adductor brevis, gracilis, and obturator externus. 
Uh, we are then able to reduce the risk of injuries occurring during our exercises. Um, also, you want to work on your um, abductors, but like I said today, I just want to focus on my ad adductors because they're very weak. And at the end of the session, make sure that you cool down correctly. Um, you can do a little bit of cardio as well if you want to, uh, sort of like a light recovery to get rid of the lactic acid. But what I like to do is go straight into doing my foam rolling. I feel like that helps me more, but try whatever you feel it works for you. Um, like I said, gets rid of all the lactic acid, works on increasing flexibility. I normally do this for about 30 seconds on each muscle group. Um, on so, so for example, do my calves. Gastrocnemius, I do 30 seconds on one leg, 30 seconds on the other. So yes, it's a combined total of a minute, but 30 seconds on each muscle. And then what I do is I go straight into doing my stretching. You want to do development stretches between 15 seconds to 30, if not more, if you feel like you need to. And I definitely go for more. I do 30 seconds on each muscle group. So overall, again, a minute. And I feel like this has helped me so much for any muscle group that I do. I try and stretch every day, like I said. Um, I try and stretch um, every day twice. Um, if not, I'm definitely doing it once. And I used to get a lot of pain in my hips when I was squatting and doing leg day. I haven't got that at all recently. I will bring future videos um, out about foam rolling and stretching uh, and go into more detail for that. There you have it guys, that is my leg routine. I hope it helps, you gain some knowledge and you learn something new from it. I'm definitely gonna be bringing up a lot more videos like this. Give me some requests that you'd like to see, comment down below, and if you haven't already, subscribe, like the video, it helps the channel grow and it means a lot. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.